especially this year. Yo, what's up guys, it's Ripper and here with the new to for yes today, and guys, today is the day that Hurricane Irma is supposed to be hitting. It's right now, we're kind of like in a rain type area type field, it's kind of messy back here, so ignore that, but we are in the middle of like the rain part, it's supposed to be hitting serious, seriously later, but I'm going to kind of give you a show of what I'm expecting right now. So this is outside at the moment, keep in mind guys, this is just rain, this isn't even like, you could say like the worst, this is basic but you can see all these trees i mean look at this like you see that look at that there it is look at that that's bad i mean i don't know about you guys but if you guys ever experience a hurricane this is intense i do want to do something though if you guys oh hold on yeah oh this is bad but i don't want to say this now guys if you guys are in florida my my heart goes out to you um, and if you guys are in a bad part, A, B, if you guys are in a shelter, seriously, I hope things go well. Um, I hope things are better for you. I hope you feel like you're safe. I hope you feel like your house is safe because this is no joke. This is a serious matter. It's really bad. And I'm not going to lie, it's kind of scary. But it's definitely not as bad yet as I think it is going to be. Now, later is a whole different story. Later is supposed to be like actual full out hurricane. I mean, this is just a tent by itself. Like, this is a plain out scary. I mean, I don't know any better way to explain it to you guys. So, this is going to be part one of it. I'm still going to be courting out there during the day to kind of give you guys updated and uh, hopefully, hopefully, hopefully be able to release this. You know what I mean? So, I'll be sure if I can, release it. And uh, just so you guys can see what I'm looking at because this is intense. I can't imagine it being this scary. And if you guys have ever dealt with a hurricane, like I said, Comment down below what you experienced, how it was like for you. What do you think was the bad part about it? What do you, you know, what was like the worst situation that happened to you? Because right now this isn't too bad. I'm hoping it, I'm praying it doesn't get too bad. But let me just say this is intense already, and I gotta go inside before it gets too dark. So I'll be recording later on. All right, guys, so we are back out here. Uh, just kind of get a little bit of an update, see what's going on. And as of right now, it looks like it's still getting bad, as you guys can probably tell. I mean, it's still getting really bad. It's supposed to get, again, it's supposed to get worse. Now, the time it's supposed to be hitting is supposed to be 12 a.m., 2 a.m. type deal. And that's, I guess, when it's supposed to be prime time, like the real deal hurricane. We're supposed to get close to the, oh my gosh, I'll leave this here, folks. Real name right. But guys, around 2 a.m. is supposed to be getting like real deal. It's supposed to be like near, we're like on the border of the eye of the hurricane, so that's scary. Keep in mind, guys, this is a cat, this was a category five, 185 mile per hour hurricane. It's supposed to be hitting us around maybe 100. 100 is still fast, first of all. You have to understand that. 100 miles per hour out, out here is scary. So I don't know what to think. I know it's pretty scary. It's gonna be definitely intense. Uh, I'm gonna be in bed by then. Uh, who knows if you're that or I'm be staying up. I'm gonna try to pull an all-nighter because I kind of want to pay attention to this. Um, also, I want to make sure this is like I want to be I want to be able to get this video out for you guys. You know what I mean? So for my life, and as you guys can see, we actually had to organize all this. Like my mom's car, my I can't put, there you go. My car and my brother was here, but then he left because he could watch a football game. He ended up getting like jinxed because he left. And literally, as soon as he left, lost power. I mean, like, that's straight out bad luck. But I wish him the best. I hope he's okay. And so he's at a friend's house right now. So it's just me and my mom holding down the house. And I mean, this is crazy. Like, look at these guys. Like, I'm outside here. And as, I'm not going to lie. Like, just being here right now is kind of intense for me. In a sense of, I guess I've never experienced this badly. I didn't think it would be this intense as of, like, what it is. So I think it's been crazy. And uh, I mean, let's see where it goes from here because this is bad, but like I said, it's gonna get worse. And as I said before, I, my heart goes out to anybody else who's experiencing this with me because the man this is intense. If you haven't, seriously, I hope you guys are in a shelter. 
Um, we weren't prepared for it like as much, so we're stuck here doing this. Now we did get like obviously sorry for the messiness, but we did get our like serious stuff out in the garage, so it's safer and it's not you know in a bad area. So I mean, just one last look, guys, before I stop at this part. But I mean, this is crazy. I can't even believe this. Like, look at that. I mean, you see some trees. There, there's like a tree right over there that's moving a lot. Like, I mean, it's going down like this. Like, like it stands up like this, and it's going almost down like that. So it's intense. I'm scared for that tree to fall. I mean, this tree right here is keeps just going down too. So I, this is gonna be scary, man. So I'm gonna make sure to keep you guys updated. And if you haven't, um, check out my Twitter because I'm gonna be posting it all on there. So let's see where we go. Yo, what is up guys? Um, it is morning time. Um, I did not get to exactly, I should say, fully record of the night time only because it was basically simple as this guys. We lost power, um, we lost basically a lot. And so we had no electricity, we had no AC. Um, me and my mom were stuck out, we were literally stuck in the living room the whole time. So you know, we couldn't exactly record because you wouldn't be able to see anything. Just know that everything was black in there, you couldn't see crap. So basically, yeah, that, that's how my last night was. So I couldn't, there's no reason really to record that because it's boring. But I should say this in the nicest way possible. This aftermath, it's not bad, but it's also not fun. You know what I mean? Because I have to go through a process now of cleaning this. And I'm not gonna lie, some of this stuff, all this debris, it's bad. I'm pretty sure last night I heard a tree snap somewhere, like somewhere behind my house. Um, there's tree, there's trees that fell in my neighborhood somewhere. Like, I mean, this is bad. So I'm just gonna kind of give you guys a quick preview of what I'm looking at, so you guys can know exactly, exactly what I'm talking about. So yeah guys, as you can see, it is like in a sense of bad, like bad in a sense of a messiness. Like there's leaves from all the way down there, from all the way down there, from every direction possible. There is just pile and pile and pile of leaves. Like I, as you saw, like I'm not, I'll kind of give you guys a quick show real quick what I'm talking about. But we have leaves just piled under my front tire. I mean, this is no joke guys, this is bad, this is scary. and. Uh, what I said last night about this thing being intense, I mean, it's not fun. It's not good, it's not bad. Um, this was kind of like a life lesson, I think, to a lot of fish hawkers, that this is no joke. When hurricanes are gonna hit, you better prepare early, you better not prepare late, because we prepared a little late, we couldn't get a lot of food, we have no electricity still, we have no EC still. I mean, we lost probably a lot of stuff in the fridge, um, some stuff in the freezer. I mean, we lost a lot from this hurricane in a sense of money-wise, a sense of food, a sense of indoor things. Outside, we are lucky, lucky, lucky that we did not lose our cars because a lot of people lost their cars yesterday from trees. I mean, I'm, I'm very thankful for that. But like I said, guys, as you guys can see, this is no joke. This is this is a real deal type situation. And for anybody else who went through Irma, um, like I said before, my heart goes out to you. I hope, I hope, I hope everything is, is okay. I hope you just have you know debris type things you have to clean up because debris, it's bad, it's not fun, but I mean it's 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 way better than what it could be because this is like you can just you get a bag, get some you know get some buckets and clean it up type thing. It's gonna take time, but way way better than what it could have been. We got lucky Irma dropped from a hurricane. Literally, just the thing about this guys, when it first started up, Category Five, 185 miles per hour. That's what was heading towards us. Next thing you know, 
dropped to Hurricane four, Category 4, Category 3, back to Category 4, back down to Category 3, and finally Category 2 as soon as it hit us. So we got lucky, seriously, seriously lucky. Fit, I'm telling you, Fishhawk, Florida, whatever. I mean, Fishhawk and Florida are the luckiest things right now in this world because we just got saved from a lot of things and um very very thankful for it but i mean this is just crazy to look at like myself like i never thought i'd be looking at it like this so seriously i guys i want to know this if you guys went through this and you guys know exactly maybe what i'm talking about if you gone through a serious hurricane before comment down below you know what was the worst thing that happened to you what was the worst thing that happened when when you got hit because i really really want to know and if you guys can do that that'd be very very appreciated because i want all you guys to interact um and i want all of you guys you know who were following irma last night and were hearing about it from me i want you to know like what's all been going on type deal so uh, if you haven't i recommend looking up hurricane irma and act like images of what it was before because man that was no joke that was like the scary part about it i guess you could say so definitely definitely recommend you guys checking it out but i don't want to video too long i just basically want to say thank you thank you Irma for not being too bad is not gonna be fun even behind here to clean but I mean hey it's better than nothing um, I'm, re I'm really willing to clean this rather than having to push a tree off my car type too you know what I mean so uh, you know thank you for not being too bad uh, thank you for all my subscribers who were who were tweeting at me wish saying you know wishing me the best of luck uh, commenting the best of luck on my live stream last night that kind of worked so seriously thank, thank you so much for that really did mean a lot to me uh, but I'm gonna try to get out of here. I got some cleaning to do. I gotta, you know, st kind of stay with my mom to make sure she's okay. Now, so I don't really want to court in there to bother her. So uh, that's really about it, guys. If you guys like these like vlogs type view, I really want to do more of these, but these are kind of hard, you know what I mean? But I definitely wanted to get this on camera so I could show you what I'm dealing with and what what you guys can expect if you guys ever have to deal with a hurricane. I mean, it's bad. We got lucky it's category two. We could have been easily hit with a category three or four, and that's what we were supposed to be hit by. So thank gosh that didn't happen. But I'm gonna stop rambling off. That's been about it, guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you haven't, be sure to like and subscribe. And I mean, this is no joke. Hurricanes are a joke. Don't ever think hurricanes are a joke. So seriously, thanks so much for watching. I'll see you guys later. Peace. When I look around, hey, I'm